Hello, Haytham Baker. If I mispronounce your name, I do apologize. Uh, my name is Paul. Uh, I'm with East Wind SEO, and I partnered up with Schenectady SEO. You talked with Nathan the other day about a video bringing you some tips on how to improve your online presence. This is going to be that video. I'm going to go over a few things um, that are, is going to help uh, improve your online presence, and these are going to be free tips that you can implement yourself. Um, they are going to be uh, content citations and backlinks that we go over right now. I have your website pulled up right here. It's a very nice looking website. You have a lot of really good big pictures um, that show exactly what it is you do right off the bat, which is always good when uh, you know a client or somebody is coming in to check out your website and they get a clear picture. Um, I would definitely recommend maybe a number to call up here and there's a lot of this blank space up here that could you know be of use right you could definitely get a, maybe a chat bubble down here that can go either direct, directly to a messenger or a text message or phone or something like that where you can get in touch with people uh maybe a, a form to fill out um you know and definitely a click to call button for a phone number um those are just more ways that you will be able to convert traffic that come to your site um and in the end that is going to work out better for you um also as i'm going down i do notice um a lack of content uh, we always recommend at least 1500 words of content on your home page and the reason for that is google is going to crawl your uh website right they love content they're going to go through all of it um, they're going to look for specific keywords and you want to have buyer intent, you know, or location specific keywords within your content. This is going to tell Google what it is you do, um, the services you offer, the areas you uh, serve, all that kind of stuff about your business. It's going to tell them, you know, that you're an authority figure in your, in your service industry and it's going to help them determine where they are going to place you within the Google search results. Also, people are going to search for those keywords. So if you have like a construction builder in Sarasota or something like that within your content multiple times, people who search that specific keyword are gonna see your business show up more often because you are relevant to their search. Um, so that's our recommendation on content. Next, we're gonna jump into a Google search result. Um, as we can see here, it looks like we have some jobs that show up, um, but Below that, we have this top three map pack, and this is an important place to be. Um, these guys get a good chunk of business that are in that top three, depending on the areas you're trying to target, um, will depend on where you guys are gonna show up in the top three. So you, to get in this, you're going to want to have your Google business profile filled out as much as accurately as possible and have it uh, optimized. Um, you want to keep it updated and you want to get it into as many online directories as possible. And that's going to be anything like Yelp, Yellow Pages, Angie's List, you know, so on and so forth. There are hundreds and hundreds of online directories that you can get your business name into. Um, and you're going to get citations back from that. And the goal here is to get more citations than your competition that's showing up in this top three. Um, as we move down, we have the organic search results. There's not too much going on here. We have, you know, like Indeed, it looks like a lot of job related um, searches that are showing up. So if we just jump into this top three right here and look at this Trinity construction and design, um, since they're showing up number one and then we can see that they're kind of being trying, trying to be sneaky here with their, um, their name, Sarasota Custom Home Builders. So they're trying to take a keyword and put it into their uh, website, their web domain. Um, I'm not sure if this is actually working out, but here they are. They're showing up number one in the in, in the, tap, the top map pack, but not in uh, organic search results. They have a decent looking website, some nice pictures. They do have a scheduled uh, consultation. Um, click to call. It's very small though. Um, but if we take a look at a tool that I use called AREFs, and this will help me take a look at a website, see how it's performing. It also helps me look at my competitors, um, you know, kind of build a roadmap of how I'm going to go about getting ahead of them in organic search results, right? Um, so as we're seeing on that organic search results, there's not much going on. So that leaves a lot of opportunity 
you know, for somebody like yourself to go up and take that number one spot. Um, so we're going to look at this top section right here. I put you guys through AREFs. Um, we're going to look at this UR and DR, the UR being a trust rating or how trustworthy your website is according to Google. DR being a power rating or how powerful your website is, right? So <clears throat> that has a lot to do with your backlinks. Um, a backlink is basically going to be anything that somebody puts into Google or that, I'm sorry, some that comes back to your website or points back to your website from an outside source like, um, you know, another website, maybe a comment blog or something like that. The goal here is to have relevant uh, backlinks you want from re powerful referring domains. And by that, I mean you want websites pointing back to you um, that are relevant to your service industry. You don't want random websites linking back to you. That's going to come across as spammy in Google's eyes. Um, that will affect your numbers and it will affect your ranking abilities in the Google search results as well. So you definitely want to make sure you're getting top quality backlinks linking back to your website. Um, as we can see here, you're getting shown for 45 organic keywords. You're getting a little bit of traffic. So this is why I stress the importance of having that content on your homepage, right? The, it gives you plenty of room to put in those buyer intent keywords, which is only going to help you guys show up more often for searches that people search as they search for those keywords. Um, and that's going to drive more traffic to your website. You know, it's going to get more business coming in um, and so on through your online presence. Um, if we take a look at these Trinity construction, uh, they have a pretty decent URDR. That's the general goal. You want to try and keep these numbers within close ratio to each other while moving them up as high as possible. They have a ton of backlinks coming in. Um, they're getting some traffic. You know, so a way that we would go about trying to get ahead of them is going through their backlink profile, seeing what backlinks they have. Um, whatever backlinks are working for them, and if they're in the same industry as you, you know, chances are it's going to work for you as well. So you can definitely go back and kind of go through their backlink profile, get whatever backlinks are working for them, and then, you know, get them for yourselves. And that's only going to help you out. The same thing with their keywords. You can go through all their keywords, see what's working for them. Maybe they have something that you didn't think about bam, you know, you can hook it up in your content. So that's all the tips I have for you guys. Those three tips are definitely things that drive results. Um, you know, you can definitely implement them yourselves, or you can always reach out to us for more questions. Um, we will link our information in this video, as well as the email I sent out. Um, and, you know, thank you for taking the time to check out this video. We really do appreciate it. And we hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.